people of 1381. In sweaty, stinky, sat outside the city gates to rest my knees and scratch my bones and wait there for me mates. When in a gust of dust I saw the whole road move my way, a rabble rousing, portal shouting, We, we shall, shall never pay! And in the gabbled babbled trance, amidst the shouts and flare, I caught the eye of somebody and wondered who they were. A leader soldier, a bold brave man, is what the people said. What Tyler turned, we heard his name as chants and cries now spread. They told me that what Tyler thought, the tax collector man, who menaced girls, brought pain and right, the spark what Tyler's plan. The crowd had marched from Canterbury to the mound of spear and right. Resilience flowed in Tyler's blood, we led with words and might. He brought his dagger, mocked the king, was seeking them for bait, to rile them up for answers now, was angered by the waves. And in the book of Cuthbert Scrooge, amid the shake and stir, I caught the eye of someone else and wondered who they were. This woman led the rebels straight, with power in her eyes. Uh, was wasted, voice. And made stone town and a heart that never dies. Um, this woman's name was Julia. Her surname was Julia. Oh. It packed a punch like when she yelled, Give us our freedom now. She told me she demanded cash and threatened to burn down the prison keeper's house and crops, a scapegoat for the town. She then released the prisoners. Rolled up the gates of change. And travelled here the waterways refused to be shortchanged. And in the burp and slurp of it, the facial feature blur, I caught the eye of somebody and I wondered who they were. He said, I'm Thomas Baker. And a baker's what I am. I was here in Brentwood when all this brawl began. We paid our fair share already, but they came again for more. So all us mob from fobbing stood firm against the law. They sent their sergeants into jail us, but we chased away the cheats and had his heads on poles and their court rolls are burning in the streets. And if they ever try to hang me, I'll not deny the day that I stood tall and I told them all, we shall never pay. And in the rowdy crowd of loud and angry amateurs, I caught the eye of someone else and wondered who they were. Richard de Kendall is my name, a henchman hired to kill. When I come back from all this slaughter, I'll give the king the bill. He worked for ex-mayor Gisborne, a real old vengeful killer, a murdered rebel after rebel in a wrathful fervour. His armour glittered richly as he walked down York's old town. He stomped louder than the bells and made a vengeful sound. Mud and dirt clung to his face, blood splattered head to toe. He shouted, I'll get these rebels to shut up. Send them all back home. We had them give us money. We took it out their hands. They put up a fight, protested. So then we took their lands. And in the howling bowels of it, amid the din and dirt, I caught the eye of someone else and wondered who they were. From a group of angry peasants, Holding pitchforks, axes and more, came Scarborough's leader, Robert Gallon, the people were ready for war. A man here on the verge of death, yet wanting still to fight, he helps the peasants' cause by killing nobles and knights. And in the punning throng of all that lank and greasy hair, I caught the eye of someone else and wondered who's that there. Beatrice Margate was a young girl who brought the fire to heat, like a secret snake, a cunning cat she saw so she could eat. Beatrice worked hard on the field, all she wanted was to play, to rest and get a good square meal, and all from fair pay. And in the wrenching stench of it, the reek of sodden fur, I caught the eye of someone else and wondered who they were. Simon de Quixley's who I am, I want the rich to pay. I fight with the rebels rising up, demand the rich obey. I stand beside my people. Ask King Rich to axe the tax. 
We fight until the end. We've got each other's backs. And in the passing parcel with the strong sanctus, I caught the eye of someone else and wondered who they were. I am not. He said. My brother pies me sleep. Why do you pay so much? I'm Stephen Everdale, he said, outraged as an angry bull. I've been in a recent war, wounded but still powerful. My rage gigantic as a well. I could break down any wall. The king and the lords have made me poor, and now I await their fall. And in the burp and slurp of it, the facial feature blur. I caught the eye of someone else and wondered who they were. I'm Alice Hopper of Holt, said she, tax tortured my whole life. The dirty lords steal my money and things are getting tight. So I've joined the revolt and hope. The end of bad days is in sight. The spoiled lords are all so phony. Their power fades like the night. And there, with history watching them, beneath the solstice sun, the soldiers, serfs and labourers all raised their voice as one. We're the people and the legends who live in this mysterious place. We're the legacy can't be destroyed. We're England, we can't be replaced. We've had enough of where the law ends. We're an army fighting for our space. The king's surrounded by bad people. We just wish he'd hear our case. And on they marched, down miles of road, down days, down months, down years, through generations, tales and books. And look, they're with us here.